Do it. Let's get into it. Um. No, we don't want to put power. Power slave's garbage. That's actually pretty cool, but I got my issues with it. There we go. Yep, manage your 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 stupid channel garbage. Why that key? I, I never used to get that. Maybe I did. Maybe I just I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, we got to do Dragon Veil, but I want to do the Cornego Gordis, so I'm going to try to do both. Let's do the Gord first. Uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. We got to... All right, you know what? Oh, All right, so I gotta, let's make, did we do anything with Beastmaster with him? Yeah, he got the level two. All right, um, we're gonna give him blue magic. Get into a battle with a Cornego. Oh shit, do I have okay, I do have catch. We got a catch. Now I, I haven't done I haven't done any catching. Do I have oh, of course I get into a battle with any Cornegos? Southern exit, yeah. Um Oh, we did get Cornego. Oh, sorry. Right, right. Of course, it's a frog. Right, we're going to get a frog. Kill everything off. Leave the Cornego. We're going to death claw the bastard. And then we got to catch him. Yeah. We need at least 10,000. We got 115,000. You need 10,000 and you need to catch a toad. Now, I, didn't, I never caught anything yet with the Beastmaster. Uh, catching can be extremely... Why am I getting the same shit? This game in the RNG. These, these games in their RNG! games and their RNG. Let's see. Oh, here we go. We got two Cornegos here. Kill this clown first. Right, we're going to use the top one. Blue magic. I'm going to use uh, Death Claw. Alright, now nobody touch him. Good, got him. All right, just kill everybody now. Everybody dies. All right, all right, we got the Cornego. We got the Cornego. So now we go back to this well where this dude, this old dude, is. Where I went back in the well. All right, so now we talk to him. Oh, if you give me 10,000 gil on that frog, I'll give you this pot. What a deal, huh? And so it just sounds like, oh, it's just a regular pot. Who gives a shit? You say, yeah, sweet, I'll eat like a king tonight. 
It's the pot's actually a Cornego gourd. The Cornego gourd is an is a uh, an accessory. That has weight plus 15. It's extremely heavy, but what it does, magic receptacle incre increases the success rate of catching it. Now, like usually you had to get enemies down to really low health in order to catch them. This allows you to get, to get them down not quite as much. It makes it much easier to catch. Certain enemies, when you catch them, what they and you what you do is you you can release them in battle, and they will perform a special a special attack. Some of them are really powerful, uh, really good. I forget if this if in this game you can you can store multiples of each, like you can have like ten, you know, imp captains or something, you know, whatever. Cornago. Or, or whatever. I can't remember if you can, or can, you can only have one of each. I think you can have multiples. You can have, you can capture a bunch of different enemies, but only one of each. I forget whether it's one or it's multiples. Each. I, I forget. But we'll get into that more later. We don't need to catch shit now. Um, and even if you want to equip the job, the ability, the, the captured enemies will still stay. Uh, I don't know if they allowed you. If there's an easier way to see what you've caught, but maybe not. Anyway, so we got that. Yeah, I never knew about the way I used to do it was the, the the old school way or the normal method is that ca try to calculate the damage you do to him, out of what his total health is, and then once you get him close enough, I didn't know Death Claw actually was uh, effective on him. On him. That's a much easier way to get him. Just to get him down. Because you're guaranteed Death Claw brings him down to single digit HP. That guarantees he's catchable. Doesn't matter. Um, but again, the higher the level, the more health a, an enemy has, the less likely you are to catch him. The Cornego Gourd makes it so that you don't have to go down to that lower HP threshold as far. Um, and have a better chance of catching him. Let me just see if there's any. Yeah, it's a really good mechanic. I used it in my first playthrough. Some people don't use it at all. Um. All right, we got. Let Let me see what. Let's see what kind of what enemies I got so far, because we got we we did get Gollum last time, and I just want to finish off this this dungeon. Um, so 100 through 104. So I got Drippy, Drippy. All right, I need 101. I got 102, Bone Dragon. 103, Poison Eagle. 104 is that? The hell! I thought I got a zombie. Egg. Zombie dragon. Oh, plus we got, we got this nice shit right here. Where is it? Bone mail. Which, look, it puts your defense up to, up to 44. The good thing is that it doesn't, the game doesn't prioritize it anymore. Because I, I got into trouble with that because it's, it's got such a high defense rate that, for a long stretch of the game, it's going to actually, you, you opt when you hit optimize, it'll optimize this. And this is a pain in the ass. It looks very nice. It says cursed arm. Um, it's got 30 defense, 5 magic defense, 3 weight, and, uh, negative, it is a negative stamina. It prevents most status ailments, but the problem is it's also undead. So it makes you undead. So basically, in battle, Outside of battle is different, but in battle, or at least it was, I don't know if they changed it. Inside battle, if you heal this char a character that's got the bone mail, it'll instead hurt them. So you have a permanent zombie status. There are some times when you can run into a problem if you didn't know you equipped a character with it. And you get into a battle and you wanted to heal with like a Kiraga or a Kiraja or something and you one-shot them. Because of the fact they got a 
the bone mail. But very good, very good armor. I'm not going to use it now, but maybe I will. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what what we got to use for the boss here. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll, I'll leave this the way we are. Um, I look at where her. She's got. She's got. And this might get ugly, but this is a new combination I'm using. Um, let's just rest up first. I do have to get the uh, chess. Oh, Sergei Castle. Let's turn this shit off for now. It's a kind of muscle strapped a little bit for time. Since we already been in here. Oh. oh whoops. I forget which enemies I need. Oh, I needed him. Shit. Thousand gill. At least to enter another cave. Okay, cool. Should be, yes. Cottage. Uh, go through the left stairs. Light like Light like already appeared. Say that they start appearing here. Yeah, beast masters can get real strong against. Oops. Oh, okay. Ooh, critical attacking hit. We killed one of these, I thought, when we fought the golem. The parts. So, uh, Kirby, like Bone Dragon. Yeah, we killed one of these though before. We had to fight one when we were fighting the damn. Alright, so we got all the enemies. I'm, I'm good with that.
All right, so this, this is where we, we, uh, this is where we get, oh, come on, Barts, Barts. This is where we fought the, uh, the Golem. Oh, no. Bone and zombie dragons from this battle aren't counted for the beast here. That's stupid. Bone mail. I don't really care. Okay, so, yeah, this was, this was as far as we got. Alright, we gotta step on this shit. Step on the crack. There we go. We go down there and open up that. 7k gill. Back here. That opens that. Now, we open that. Come back this way. Go back out here. Now we can go down here and in here. Slash. Oh yeah. What the hell's a wind slash? Amazing on increased success in manipulating enemies. Oh yeah, for, for, for control, right. This helps the control ability work more often. That's very good. That's something we're going to be using. What is the wind slash, though? Fuck. Oh, it's a... It's a, uh... Samurai. I have a... Samurai is another useful job. West door. Alright, so we're about to fight the boss. Go. Beast, a foul, leafy demon. All right. on this clown. What? He said that this... Say death claw. 
Why is it missing? This is missing. And I gotta fight the regular way because this game's a bunch of garbage. There we go. Dead. I know Death Claw has a chance to miss. Alright, so I, that was my that was my issue. I, I never really used Death Claw before. I never used I don't want to say really use, I never used Death Claw before. Okay, we got the got the dragon grass. Alright, um, yeah, because this, this walkthrough is based on the Pixel Remaster, so it's not like, I was like, did they change something in this version? Man, well, this one's ba this is based off the PC version, which is different. They added stuff for the, the, the console releases in the Pixel Remasters. They did change further, make further changes. So that's what I was thinking of, but... Um, oh, you know what? I need to uh, give her some time. And now we can just, because we got that new teleport spell, just teleport the F out. Is there anything different over? It's the same shit. Paralyzing enemies. Paralyzer pricks. Yeah, keep hitting on the paralyzed dude. Oh, good. It's freaking pricking the. Oh good, he entangled himself. Jerk off. See, Paralyzed does eventually work its way out. I'm going to make a save here, and that'll be it. Almost, almost dinner. Have a good night. I'll see you on later.